Hello, coming at you with yet another at-home workout. This one is for Tuesday, and your question today today is, what is your favorite vegetable? So yesterday we asked about your fruits. Today we're asking about your vegetables. This whole week we're going to have a series of favorite questions, getting to know each other a little bit better. Your warm-up today is going to take six minutes. It is an EMOM. So every minute on the minute for six minutes. Minute one, you will do seven push-ups right into max mountain climbers for the remainder of that minute. Minute two will be 10 air squats into max double unders for the remainder of the minute. So minute one, you've got seven push-ups into max mountain climbers. So for the push-up, we're looking to either come from the toes or the knees. Seven repetitions, chest down all the way up. From the knees, you'll come down to the knees, chest all the way down, all the way up. For the remainder of the minute, once you're done with that, you'll go into mountain climbers, bringing your knee into your chest and alternating, keeping your hips down. Second minute, you guys have 10 air squats, followed by max double unders in the remainder of the time. So your air squat, your feet are in your strength stance, shoulder width, toes out, back stays nice and flat. Use this as an opportunity to warm up that squat, get all the way down, hip crease below parallel. Then if you don't, if you don't have doubles, this is a great opportunity to practice them in your warm up. If you don't have a rope, you can do mock double unders. So I would recommend jump and do that kind of timing, practice rhythm for the remainder of the minute. That is your six minute EMOM warm up. Moving on to your strength. For your strength today, we have uh, four sets on a 12 minute running clock. Two different movements. So you guys have 12 minutes to get this done. Six single arm push jerks each side with a one second pause in the catch, and then six single arm front rack split squats at a 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one tempo. Okay, so 12 minute clock, four sets. So figure uh, one set every three minutes and that should be fine for you. For your push jerk, six each side. So you're bringing that dumbbell up into a front rack position. Feet are gonna be underneath your hips. You're gonna dip drive, drop hold for one second, stand and recover back down. Really think about punching up, pushing under that weight, stand, recover, back down. You guys can do this with a dumbbell, you can do it with a kettlebell, whatever you have as your object. Six is one side, six is the other side. Then, keeping that dumbbell in the front rack, we're doing some tempo split squats. So, I will hold my dumbbell in my front rack. If this active front rack on my right side is working, I want my left leg to be doing the work. So I set up in my split stance uh, stance, and I'm gonna come down one, two, one, one, two, one. Nice and slow, two seconds on the down, one second at the bottom, two seconds on the way up. Notice that I'm staying in that front heel the whole time, okay? So whichever arm is working, the opposite leg is going to be working. So if I have the dumbbell in my left hand, in my left arm, my right leg is going to be forward doing most of the work in that tempo split squat. Four sets, six reps, push jerk, one second pause, split squat, two, one, two, one, tempo. Four sets, 12 minutes, that's it. All right, so that is your strength. Moving on to your conditioning. Now, for your conditioning, we have three sets with one minute of rest between your sets. The sets include a five minute AMRAP, so as many rounds of reps as possible in five minutes of 35 double unders or dot hops, seven single object push jerks, and five single object suitcase lunges each side. Again, you will rest one minute between your AMRAPs, um, and you have one minute rest between your AMRAPs, and you're gonna do that three times. You will pick up each AMRAP where you left off the preceding one. 
So let's take a look at these movements. You've got your double unders, 35 repetitions there. Again, if you don't have a jump rope or if you don't have doubles, you can go to single unders or you can practice that timing um, for 35 repetitions. You can also do dot hops. So if you choose to do dot hops, you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So every time you go forward is one, every time you go back, that would be one as well. So one, two, three, four, back and forth for 35 reps. Second movement, seven pusher. This is a single object. So I'll hold that object in my front rack position. I'm going to dip drive, drop, stand, recover, reset, dip drive, drop, stand, recover, reset. Again, trying to re-bend that knee, push yourself under. Seven of those. And then finally, five each side of that suitcase, uh, the suitcase lunges. So single object, suitcase lunges. Similar to what we did in our strength component, if I'm holding the dumbbell in my right arm, I'm lunging back with my right leg and standing. I will do five with this side, then I'm gonna switch over, I will do five with the other side. Staying in that front heel, driving off to stand, okay? That is your Tuesday workout. So today we've got three different components. We've got your six minute EMOM to start your warm up, warming up those double unders for the workout. You've got your 12 minute strength with four sets. And then finally, we've got the three sets, five minute AMRAP, one minute rest in between. Looks like a good one. Enjoy guys. Don't forget to check out that DIY mobility. Great stuff there. Help you recover and uh, stay feeling good. All right. Keep up the great work. We'll see you guys in the Zoom room.